This is a reverse reverb effect. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's check it out. You just need a dry signal with nothing on it to start. And then you're gonna to wanna to drop in whatever your favorite reverb is. In this case, I'm just gonna be using a Pro-Q from FabFilter. So I'll open that up. And so here I always make sure that whatever reverb plugin I'm using, I'm not at 100% mix because if not, you're just gonna get it sounding way too reverby. So I like to take it down to something like, you know, 35%, 40% if you want something a little bit more dramatic. Um, you also want to make sure that you give it a good amount of space or tail, whatever it is your plugin says. The longer the tail, the longer the intro reverb is going to be as you're leading into that. So I'm just going to try this for now. You want to listen. This is a reverse reverb effect. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. So I've, I feel like I like the tail, but maybe it's a little bit too much. I'm going to pull down the mix. This is a reverse reverb effect. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, well, once we get that, we're just gonna make sure that we have our recorded thing that we wanna flip. And then you're gonna go ahead and select that clip, come over here to the actual waveform. You're gonna scroll down in case you don't see this. You're gonna hit this little button right here that says reverse when you hover over it. You're gonna reverse it. So now it's gonna sound like a David Lynch movie. And this is where the magic happens. You're going to want to print this as is reversed with that reverb. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a new track, which I've already made here. I called it reversed in this case. You're going to come back to your actual recorded track. And here where it says master, you want to click that and send it to the reverse tracks input. So you're going to want to make sure you put it on auto so that you can actually hear it while you're recording. And then all you got to do is record it. I guess those that I should have made in it. Let the tail go out so that it's completely dead. You can hit space bar. And then it gets even simpler. All you're going to do is come here and re-reverse it. So go ahead and that new track that you just recorded, reverse it again, and you've got your effect. This is a reverse reverb effect. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's check it out. And that's it. It's really pretty simple. Um, you can play around with different sort of settings and stuff to get a really cool reverb that you might like. I like to use this um, if I'm ever doing some sound design that's a little bit horror based or it works really well as an intro or as a build into a chorus. Get creative with it. It's a really fun tool and that's the way to do it.